Okay, so I haven't had coffee yet or anything. I overslept. Hubby wanted to go to the store at like nine o'clock and I was supposed to get up at like seven, quarter of eight to get ready and go to the store and stuff. And I totally slept through my alarms because I'm exhausted. And <clears throat> so he was mad and he was putting the wood in the wood pile. Like he asked Brayden to do all week. Like, I don't know, it's a mess. So I need to go clean up, wash up real quick, and then get ready to leave. And I'll see you all when I get home. What is up, good people? We just got home, me and hubby. So nice. Just me and him. Um... So me and him, we went We went out, we went grocery shopping I'm eating a 7-Eleven pizza I'm starving Brayden cleaned the yard this morning We went grocery shopping, we just got back it's two o'clock. I still haven't had a cup of coffee yet. So, so along our travels today, <clears throat> we found this place. It's a little um, like I think we we think that they had like a food truck before, and then they found like the little spot to like open a little restaurant or something. And hubby has a hard on for hot sauces. If you guys have been around long enough, you'll know. Oh, I got garlic salt salt powder today so i have to put that up there um but they make their own hot sauces and like other kinds of sauces and they have like a little trying station with spoons and stuff so we were trying some so we got some this one this chup chupacarepa whatever this stuff is called is absolutely amazing it's jalapeno cider vinegar lime juice vidalia onions garlic cilantro and salt I like anything with Vidalia onions. This shit's so good. And then I tried this one first. It's spicy garlic dill pickle. So good. And then they had this um, J.O. Spice and Local Beer. Hubby really liked that one. That one's not for me. Then they had these chocolate covered espresso beans. And I want one. And then I gotta get groceries put away. And I really want a cup of coffee. I can't even open these damn things. Okay. All right. Chocolate, oh, they smell so good. Do you guys eat chocolate covered espresso beans? Mmm. What's the serving size? A quarter of a cup enough for me oh my god delicious all right friends grocery haul time so we went to walmart we went to this one walmart because we weren't like anywhere near the house we went to walmart and that walmart sucked balls it was terrible terrible that walmart was awful so we went there and yeah they didn't have shit so we ended up going to safeway on the way back because hubby wanted to stop anyway for like um his yogurt which he finally found because he we didn't know if they made them anymore hubby's favorite um yogurt is the fruit on the bottoms and we haven't been able to find them when Safeway has them they only have like two kinds and they're up on the very tippy toppy and you don't see them because I was looking for this packaging where you could see the fruit but I couldn't find them but we found them and hubby's happy so let's get through All right, this so we got some Mott's fruit snacks hubby wanted um milk his yogurt I remember this was only like a dollar a pack. Now it's like $2.89. Like what the fuck? 
and then hubby string cheese he also picked these cheeses for his lunches we got brayden these pancakes and sausage on a stick and breakfast these are um breakfast burritos meat lovers um we got some car balance tortillas and um hubby said he wanted to try some taquitos i love fucking taquitos so much so we got beef and we got chicon so i don't know if he wants to do those tonight for dinner i don't know he got some mushrooms because we're gonna do um steak on the grill tomorrow um well hell we got some rotisserie chicken breast so the netway wifey if she wants some mini peppers and then hubby wanted to actually try the salad kit it's everything chopped kit and this is um everything that's in it with an everything seasoned ranch dressing so that looks good and then of course whew, i got my sunflower crisp kit and then one thing i've been craving if you guys remember at work the kids were giving away all their grapefruits and throwing them out so i took them so i got some uh grapefruits and hubby's had a kick he's been wanting oranges so we made sure we got his oranges we got some sweet onions i picked up a box of my quest peanut butter cups and hubby also is he said he's been having a hankering for gummy bears so we got gummy bears one of our friends stopped by and got braided and hubby easter baskets well they're hubby's friends so they made brayden a cute little easter basket with look, a hot wheels bath bomb it's a hot wheels bomb so there's a car in there somewhere and that's it but it was so cute so he got him and them and then these were in hubby's basket um some pretzels and well i showed you these hot sauces these three but the rest of these these if you guys see these at walmart i'm telling you try them they're only a dollar but they're so freaking good this one's really good oh i don't know about honey hot but the other one is lola's and we don't know about those but that blue hubby loves this brand and black cherry but this one, this brand, we tried all of the blue hogs. So freaking good. And they're only a dollar. They're in like a big bin in the middle of the aisle. Okay, so these are the steaks for tomorrow's dinner. We got steak. And then I love, like I was looking at these. These are boneless chicken breast stuffed with broccoli and cheese. It looks so good. And I got cordon bleu. Wifey doesn't like ham, but tough titty sour milk it is what it is and then i got some real ground beef and then of course this this is all of our meal deal stuff down this way so i got four packs of chicken tenders actually three because this is a boneless skinless chicken um thigh so chicken thighs actually make hubby sick but we're gonna try oh we got some bananas um we got three packs of sausages we got two packs of chicken wings, two packs of burgers. They had these pork chops. They're bone-in pork chops. I do not eat pork chops. I do not like pork chops at all. But hubby does, so I was like, well, we'll get these and see. He can cook them. And then these were also, these are really good. These Dietz Dogs um, beef and pork. So I got the original. The bacon cheddar is really good and then these are just beef ones and then hubby got his pretzels and then this wasn't part of the meal deal but um they haven't had usually they have big packs of jumbo lump meat in the like meal deal plans and i like split it up but they didn't so i have a recipe i want to make with um imitation crab meat so we got we got that i also got oh uh, i think they're down here my sodas and hubby sodas, my sodas for work because I go back to work Tuesday. Um, and then wifey's makeup wipes. Hubby also got a hammer. He needed a little hammer. And then I got this little, this handheld slicer. I actually ordered this from Amazon. It came today, but I did get this today. And um, it's got ooh, uh, the protective. You see how it has like, the protective grip right there so i can get with that hopefully it works 
My problem is storing it because I put everything in this cabinet and this, this cabinet is about done. So, um, oh, there's some asparagus back here too. Asparagus. So I need to put this shit away. I'm going to take hubby up his pretzels and stuff. And, um, I'm sure he's probably going to be laying down soon. Take wifey up. Well, she's not home, but take wifey up her thing. I'm not allowed to say anything about his Easter basket because apparently wifey is very jealous of these women and they're gay. They're part of the legitimate aqua community. And she's very jealous of them because and she don't like them. So... But I don't know if that's because hubby said that if they weren't gay, he would do the wand. I don't know. But she don't like him. But he also said that about said friend. So from what I was told, that's the only reason why she's really friends with said friend. Was to make sure nothing happens. Because she said, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Phony shit. <laughs> All right, cabinet dwellers, I'll put you in your place. It's time for coffee. I haven't had any coffee today, and it is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. <sighs> I just got groceries put away. I need the strong. I need the strongest of the strong. Give me all the sweet, dirty bean juice. Oh my gosh. There is a video I'm watching. It was posted in um, in the discords. And it's like a whole timeline. Like I know Mr. Snowflake's doing it in parts. But I love. It's basically like. Why do the reaction channels hate Chantel? Like Foodie Beauty. And oh, it's so good. I actually, I'm gonna, I need to share it in my Discord so other people can see it. It's a really, really, really good, good video. I like it a lot. Can we brew a little bit faster? Look, I'm gonna get all my stuff. What is this one? Oh, that's hazelnuts. Um, I'm gonna pour my skinny syrup in there. <sighs> I cannot wait for this coffee. I am so tired. I still have to edit. I wanted to edit last night. I fell asleep editing the vlog. I made the thumbnail in the car. I um, actually edited it this morning, finished editing it, and downloaded it as I was getting ready. And, um, and then I... Uh, started looking for cards while we were in the car like we were still talking but I was like searching for like backgrounds and like images and stuff to make my thumbnails and trying to get all my inspiration pictures and Kelly hi All the cats are looking at me. Okay. Everybody got their treats. All right. Put you guys. Huh. <sighs> Sit y'all here. All right. I was kind of hoping my one Timu order would have got here before I went to work. That sucks. All right, me and hubby went to go get a P.O. box today. Hubby's like, we're not going to do that mail one. He was like, because you're just paying double the money. He's like, even if you paid $10 a month, he was like, your mail's going somewhere else. He's like, at least you know. He's like, it's going to a warehouse. He was like, no. He's like, we're going to get a P.O. box and we're switching all of our stuff to the P.O. box. Because bitches want to be shady. Not saying anybody would. Well, I know there's shady bitches in the community, so. But yeah. So 
So that's what we want to do. All right, I am going to relax for a few minutes. My knees are absolutely killing me. Although hubby kind of made me a little upset because he's like, you didn't get, he's like, well, you did what you did during spring break, but there was shit around the house that needed to get done. And I was like, I know I'm only one person, you know? <laughs> he made the comment today. He says, he was like, we were looking at houses. He's like, yeah, he's like, you can barely keep up with the house we have now. I looked at him. I said, excuse me. I said, don't do that. Don't do that. Do you want to set me off? I said, I'm to, like, to the point where I don't give a fuck anymore because nobody else gives a fuck. Nobody else cares about cleaning the house. So I'm just to the point like, why should I? I'll do what I need to do. So, and then that'll be that. So not doing it I was like don't get me started I said I want to have a nice day I'm not trying to piss you off I'm not trying to be in a bad mood let's just have a good day I said don't fucking get me started I said because the minute I clean something and somebody sees a clean spot they decide to throw shit in it I said I've given up because nobody else can clean up after themselves and I am not somebody's fucking bitch sorry and he's like yeah let's have a good day I said yeah let's do that instead ew why is my skin peeling right there so oh excuse me all right y'all i'll see you in a few minutes to do uh the weekly reading but i'm gonna go relax for a few and i'll see y'all after that Hi right, friends, it is time for this week's weekly reading. Okay. Wifey should be rolling up here soon because it is four o'clock. So she should be coming home soon. Okay. There is a huge smudge. I've been trying to clean my glasses and I feel because that's why these are the at home ones because they have like a smudge on them and they're just I'm trying to clean. They got like scratches and shit all over them, and it's just obnoxious. Okay. All righty. So today is Saturday, March 30th. Um, today's color is brown. Knock that out of the park. Um, the moon sign is Sagittarius. Today's incense is patchouli. I think we have some too. Okay. Tomorrow the 31st, it is Easter. Happy Easter. When you guys see this, happy Easter. Make sure you wear something orange because today's color for you guys when you see this vlog is orange. So Sunday's color is orange. Oh, we're going out tomorrow. I'm so excited for where we're going for family day. Oh, so excited. Okay, moon sign is still Sagittarius and the incense is eucalyptus. Okay, Monday, April Fool's Day. Do you guys pl uh, plan on playing any pranks? I know I've told this story before. Um, I'll tell you after I read this because in case wifey gets home, then I can just come back to it. But Okay, so we are in waning moon phase. It is the fourth quarter, or we enter the fourth quarter at 11.15 p.m. The color will be white. The moon enters Capricorn at 12.05 a.m. and the incense is Narcissus. Tuesday, the Battle of the Flowers. It is a French holiday. Uh, the color is gray. Moon sign, of course, Capricorn, incense, geranium. Wednesday, it is the feast. Oh, excuse me. The Feast of St. Mary's of Egypt. The color is topaz. And the moon enters Aquarius at 5.08 a.m. And the incense is marjoram. Thursday, it is tomb sweeping day. It is a Chinese holiday. The color is crimson and the incense is myrrh. Friday, it is children's day. It is a Palestinian holiday. <sighs> Saturday. 
sad. Anyway, the color is purple. The moon enters Pisces at 7.13 a.m. and the incense is yarrow. Next Saturday, it is Tartan Day and the color is indigo. Moon, size, moon sign Pisces, incense sage. And the next Sunday is Motherhood and Beauty Day. It is an Ar Armenian holiday. The color will be yellow. And the moon will enter Aries at 7.25 a.m. And the incense is marigold for next Sunday. So, yeah, that's going into next week. I can't believe it's April already. Okay, so April Fool's Day. I was quite the prankster as a kid back in my day, okay? I used to get down on all four. I am so tired. I'm sorry, y'all. And I would go around the corners. And I would scare the shit out of my mom and bark like a dog. <laughs> I would. I would. So I would, like, get down on the floor. And then I'd go, Barrr, you know, real loud and, like, bark like a dog. And it would scare the shit out of her. This one particular Easter. So back in my heyday growing up. We had like these plastic egg shrink wrap, like plastic wrap things. So you put this plastic shrink wrap around the egg and then you put it in boiling water and it <laughs> sucks to it. Then you take it out and it had like comics and like, I remember we had Garfield and I don't remember the other one we had, but we had those. And I had, I had a collection I had a huge collection of play food and I was very particular about my play food and um, I had a whole clubhouse and I had a huge kitchen. I should have known then I was probably going to have a food addiction and I was going to be a fatty because I was already a fatty when I was a kid and I was always cooking for everybody in my kitchen, in my fake kitchen that my dad built in my clubhouse. Like I had a refrigerator, I had all that stuff. I had a stove. My dad like built a stove, but anyway. Oh my God, I love, I love my little clubhouse. Anyway, I was in that bitch all the time. It was my house. So anyway, I had a carton of fake eggs. And cause my fake chickens would lay my fake eggs. Don't judge, okay? I had, I was an only child. I had an imagination. So anyway, I actually told my mom, I said, mom, I want to play an Easter prank on dad. Can we save some of these and put these on my fake eggs? Well, first of all, they were super hard because the eggs were floating. So it was like really hard to get the egg to go down in the water to have the shrinky dink thing go on it. So we did it. We got it. We got it on there. I put one at the very tippy top of the pile of the eggs. And I told my mom, and my mom even knew. My mom even knew. I said, okay, but I did more than one. She didn't know I did more than one. I did like two of them. But still, I did two. And she didn't know because I snuck it down. We did the one, but I had another fake egg. And I said, I thought she knew, but she didn't know. But I did two of them. And um, because I was like doing the rest of them. So I put them in there. <laughs> And I told her, I said, Mom, don't forget that fake egg is right there. And she's like, I'm not, I'm not. So the next morning, because we always, as an Easter tradition in our house, we always dyed eggs, which we're actually, in this house, we're going to dye eggs tonight because we're going out tomorrow. But for breakfast, we'll eat our colored Easter eggs. So I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> so we went out and we had... um So we went out, I don't remember what, we didn't go to church or nothing. Like, my mom tried to be a churchy person, but it just did not suit her. It wasn't working. It wasn't a good look for her. Nah, nah. It definitely was not a good look for my mom. Anyway, so, I remember Mr. Rod came over. Mr. Rod... 
who was the guy in the van it was weird because my mom had all elderly friends like she had a couple friends that were like her age but it wasn't like that like mr irv and miss evelyn they were old like my mom was probably my not even my age she was younger because my mom had me when she was 18 because my mom married my dad when i was 17 when she was 17 she had me when she was 18 so my mom was young you know so she was like in her 20s 30s maybe probably 20s yeah she was in her 20s when we lived in the apartments and Irv and Evelyn lived there and they were like in their 50s, 60s. They were retired and she was friends with them. And Yale and Eileen, they were older, but they were like in their 30s. Like they had all older friends. I feel like I'm the older friend to like a lot of the younger kids because I don't like I feel old, but I don't feel old, if that makes any sense. Like... I don't know. But anyway, back to the egg story. We were waiting for um, Mr. Rod to come over and his boyfriend. And then we were waiting for, God, who was the, oh, Mr. Tom. Mr. Tom and his like little yappy dog that he had. So Mr. Tom and him. And then um, I think that's all that was coming over. And so I remember they came over for Easter. But I was so hungry. And we came in and my mom ran in the house and she's like, I'm so hungry. Oh my God. And she ran in the house and she grabbed the egg and I saw her. I didn't say nothing. She grabbed the fake egg off the pile of Easter. <laughs> I just looked at her and she took that egg and she hit it on the counter to crack it. You know, it didn't break. And she's like, what the fuck? And she hit it again. And it still didn't break. And she's like, what the fuck, man? And she took the egg and she smacked the shit out of it. And everybody's looking at her confused. And I'm just sitting there like. I said, mom, that was dad's egg. And then she went, she was like, admit, she stopped. And she's just like, what the hell? And she just started cracking up laughing. I started cracking up laughing. And I'm telling Mr. Rod the story of how that egg was supposed to be for my dad as a ha-ha prank, a ha-ha joke, you, you know, whatever. And so everybody started laughing. So then my mom's like, let me get another egg. So she actually got one, but it was the other fake egg. And she did the same thing. And she's like, what the hell? And she hits it again and she hits it. And I'm like, oh my God. I was like, you found the other one. And she was like, I was like, Ma, I was like, I told you there was two of them. And she's like, I didn't know you did too. I said, yes, I said, I did too. And we were cracking up. She got both fake eggs. It was back to back. It was so fuck. And then she threw them at me and it was like hilarious. She's like, get the fuck out of here with. And then I was mad because she bent one because she hit it so hard. But yeah, oh my God, it was so funny. It was like, everybody was dying. It was fucking hilarious. Like we used to do shit like that all the time. I used to buy the fake bugs when I worked at the Dollar Tree because my dad hates that shit. I would make ice cubes and I'd put like a fake bug or like a fake fly or something in the ice cube tray and then put it in my dad's drink because my dad would drink like either tea. So it was dark so you wouldn't see it. And then he would see it after. Oh my God. It was so funny. I used to do all kinds of shit like that. I used to play, like, I wouldn't play, like, bad jokes. I played stupid jokes, like, dad jokes, like, type stuff, you know. Like, but I would play some pretty gross jokes, too, because I had, like, a really nasty sense of humor. And I'm not, I mean, I still do. But, like, my dad hated, like, women monthly time stuff. Oh, my God. I took a maxi pad and put a barbecue sauce on it because sorry ketchup ketchup don't work okay it's got to be barbecue sauce because barbecues has that deep red that reddish brownish color to it for the woman's monthly and i put that motherfucker i put barbecue sauce and i i got it all up in there and i put it smack dead on my dad's den door 
And then he didn't even know it was on there because he was in the den when I did it. So he had no clue. And so he went, came out and he went to shut the door because he always shut the den door because we had all the NASCAR cars up there. And that way the cats wouldn't get in there and get on the shelves and everything. And oh, when he closed the door, I was in my room and I hear, eh, that's fucking disgusting. And he's like gagging. He's like, and then he called me by, <laughs> by my full name. And he'll be like, I'm like, what's that? Like, what's the problem? And I was like, well, how did that get there? And my dad would be like, God damn, he's fucking them. And he started gagging. And my mom would hear what was going on downstairs. And he'd go down. He's like, your daughter is a sick son of a bitch. And he called say, God, you fucking sick, gross people and blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God. It was hilarious. Guess what, dad? Fuck you motherfucker hey well i don't i love my dad because he's my dad but i hate him as a person hate him he's a mm. anyway but yeah that, those were good times those those were good times I remember I used to trick my dad all the time with like super sour candy because like warheads were like a huge thing back then, back in the 90s. And I remember I gave my dad a piece of candy and I was just like, here, and I was eating them and went, like I ate one and I was eating it. He's like, can I have a piece of candy? And he doesn't like sour candy. And I was just like, he was picking me up from work. So I was eating one and he was like, he had his hand out and I said, he didn't like, I just said, you want one? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, you sure? And he's like, yeah, give me a piece of candy. So I gave it to him. He puts it in his mouth and he's driving and he's like, his face, he's like, rolled down the window. He goes, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and he said, my whole name, that's fucking disgusting. How do you eat that? I will never trust you. I'll never ask for your food again, your candy again. That's fucking disgusting. It was so funny. I thought it was funny. I thought it was fucking hilarious. So yeah, I used to be a prankster. I used to love playing jokes. Jokes on jokes. But yeah. I don't play jokes really anymore. So I used to, when I worked at Walmart, we would get a display box. So they have these things are called PDQs, which means pretty darn quick to like, it's pretty darn quick to display. And um, so we would cut the tape. There was like ones like the Hanes, you know, like um, you see like in the middle of the aisles, there's like cardboard displays like on um, pallet, like on a pallet. So you come in and you basically just cut the tape off the bottom and you lift the top of the box and then put the pole in, you're good to go. So we did that one time and I got in the box and the, the guy, again, he, he took me over to my mom's department. My mom worked in domestic. And I said, Kenny, I said, let me scare my mom real quick. I used to scare a lot of people, too. I used to like doing that. I uh, See, I used to watch Jackass and Johnny Knoxville and um, Bam Margera was, like, one of my favorite. And, like, Big Rob and them, like, they were so funny. And, um, or Big Black and Rob, like, Rob and Black. And, um, oh, my God, they were just so funny. And so, <laughs> so I, um... I got in the box. I got in the box. And um, he uh, pulled the pallet over to my mom's department. And he was like, they put the wrong label on this. This They said that this is for whatever department it was. I don't even remember. He's like, but it's actually a thing of towels. Where do you want it? My mom's like, starts bitching because she's like, what the fuck do you mean? And he's like, I don't know. They told me to bring it over here to you. He's like, take a look at it and see if you can work it in on the shelves or something. So my mom's like, Jesus Christ. So she opens the top of the box. Mind you, I'm crouched down in there. And um, cause she saw it was like already open. Cause I was worried her stabbing the damn box with a fucking blade. And so she opens it up and I go, blah, blah, blah. and she's just like, whoa, her knife went flying. And 
she almost fell down and Kenny grabbed her and it was so funny. And she's like, God damn it, Ray, Ray, Ray. <laughs> I was no good. I was in the box dying. I was cracking up laughing. But I used to scare everybody like around the corner. I'd go around the corner and go, boo, I go, woo, woo, and like scare the shit out of people. And then I was never hard to scare, but now recently I've been so hard to scare or so easy to scare. Like Brayden scared me three times yesterday. I was like in my own little world. And I think that's what it is. It's like now you just get in like your own little fucking world. And then all of a sudden somebody comes up out of nowhere and you're just like, whoa. And you're like focused and zoned in on something. And then. Like, I turned around and Brayden was there yesterday and I almost punched the fuck. Oh, my God. I almost punched him. Wifey almost got punched the other day. I swear to God. I'm in the freezer. Granted, I'm in the freezer. I'm focusing. I'm looking. I'm, I'm, I'm mentally taking note. The note will get lost. But I was mentally taking that note. The note may get lost, but I was taking it, okay? And I was going in the freezer and apparently wifey was talking to me. I had no acknowledgement of her. I'm like organizing. I was getting pissed because the cheese kept falling down because hubby and wifey went through the freezer and they were, they fucked my shit all up. They fucked my flow up in the freezer and I was trying to get my flow back, whatever, whatever. Okay. So wifey's apparently talking to me. I had no recollection of this. Now, mind you, I'm in the chest freezer. All I hear is <laughs> the bags rustling, the ice, like the shit moving around in there. It's loud. I'm bent over down in the chest freezer. I stand up and she's standing there next to me and she says, did you just hear? And I was like, oh, I almost clocked the fuck. I should have. I should have. I should have just let it go. I should have just went. Boom. Bitch, I'm from Baltimore. Bitch, I'm from Baltimore. Anyway, I can't fight. Anyway, um, I should have fucking decked her ass. I should have. I would have felt bad. I would have. Cause no matter what i would have felt bad but i should have but i caught myself i came like this close to her face and she's like whoa i'm like don't be sneaking she's like i thought you heard me i said make it make sense how the fuck am i gonna hear you i am bent over not in a good way in the fucking chest freezer like <sighs> no i didn't hear fucking shit you said your ass I said oh she's like whoa mm. she's like who else would be in the house like you scared me I'm in survival mode bitch mm -hmm. anyway all right I'm gonna go make my second cup of coffee I'm gonna play some candy crush and I have so many videos to edit for my raised bakes channel and I'm already behind Cause I have a bunch of Easter videos that I did yesterday. So, and I meant to go, I meant to live stream, but time just gets away from me. That's why I don't keep a schedule on the channel. I've been doing pretty good about my uploads and how I forget. Like I can hear people now. How does she forget to upload when she does it every day? I do. And sometimes I'll save the changes or I'll exit when I'm in YouTube studio and I forget to save it. Like, I think I saved it, but I didn't. Or I exit out too quick because I'm in a rush. Because like, trying to get ready for work or something. And that's like, I don't... I like it better in the summertime, but then it's like, it, it doesn't get a schedule. You just know it's going to be out sometime that day. But, yeah. And you guys get longer vlogs. And I know a lot of people don't like, like, the longer vlogs. I know some of you guys do, so... Whatever it is, it is. When I'm busy, you guys know because the vlogs are short. So I try to take like 10 or so minutes out to just make sure I talk to you guys. So, all right. It's time for coffee number two. Family night. Rocky a lot. Second time. Uh, he almost ate the whole thing. Like eggs make you shit. That is a red, red. What are these crayons? This is how it 
y'all hear these shenanigans? Straight up thunderstorm. What the heck? So I just came out of the bathroom because I'm like, am I tripping? Like I didn't expect like thunder and lightning and stuff because I didn't even know we were supposed to get thunderstorms. And I'm like, what the hell is that noise? Because I saw the flash, but I thought I was tripping. I started, look, I started rubbing my eye and I'm like, if I have something in my eye, and I thought I heard thunder, but hubby and wifey went upstairs to go do ferrets and I'm like cleaning up and I'm like, what the hell? So I walked in there and then I saw the lightning in the bathroom window. And I'm like, it's lightning. I was like, I thought I had something in my fucking eye. So here's our Easter eggs. Aren't they so pretty? Um, we use the wax candle. There's a piece of it in here. Um, hubby wrote, fuck Easter and get fucked on two of the easter eggs one of them is i think this one if i can pick it up yeah you can see the f word on there but that's what he wrote on it anyway but you see that little snip that i put of how our how our family time is with well, I never, I just sit there and I just look at them like, is this, okay, are we done? Is this what we're doing now? And they're all on the phone and I'm just sitting here like, okay, is this it? You know, because then Hubby was like, well, how much editing do you have left to do? And I was like, I still have, I only edited two. I have three more to do. And I was like, I still have to make all the cards and captions and stuff for it the videos are like the video itself like the whole video of, of the process of me making the um the whole process of me making the video is those parts of the videos are edited edited i did all that earlier but now it's like the time consuming shit to search for the images and the screenshot and to crop and to enhance and create a card so that way you can make your stuff. So, um, so now comes the tedious stuff and the time consuming. And then you have to go back in and then you have to edit and then I have to go back in my photos and I'll have to edit this or edit that. And, crop the picture for the thumbnail and like put it on the background and make sure the background's not so pixelated and then um I always make a card because I always try to give credit where credit is due and um and I put um I put uh whatchamacall Oh God, I can't think. I don't know. Oh yeah, and I put like this, the the stuff from Pinterest, like wherever I find, because I use now a lot of SVG files because we do have a lot of SVG files and I use a lot of them for inspiration for my cupcakes and cookies and stuff. And it's like a lot of files that like you put, like you print on t-shirts and stuff. So... I don't know. But yeah. Ooh. But yeah. So we'll see. So yeah, I'm gonna clean up and dump all the dyes out, but I wanted to get the dishes in the sink. For in the sink into the dishwasher. And before I dump all the guys down here. But yeah, so I mean we had a nice family time. I'm excited for tomorrow. It's not stupid, but I'm excited for where we're going. It's gonna be fun. And then there's like a little bit, of course there's drama. And you gotta call the kids out and find a hubby. So be nice. So, you gotta call people out.
Because don't you hate it when you like agree on something and then all of a sudden it's like, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Anyway. So. Okay. All right, let me get cleaned up. And um, I will check in after bed. <sighs> Hi friends, it is 1 o'clock in the morning. I finally finished editing all five of my Easter cookie videos. All five. All five are done. Thumbnails are made, videos are edited, text cards are created, videos are put together. I've literally been editing the majority of the day for five videos. And the thing is, is like the ones like nine minutes, like the peeps ones, like the bunny peeps ones is nine minutes, but the rest of them are like three minutes, maybe four minutes, just a couple minutes all fucking night, <laughs> all night. Cause then hubby's like, um, are you going to make dinner or like how much more editing do you have to do? I was like a lot. I have to do a lot. So, um, but yeah, the videos are done now. Um, I, I just scheduled them because most of them are for Easter. And I didn't expect to be up so late last night. So, um, so my one video is like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Well, I do. I wanted to have a video go up at noon today, but me and hubby were still out at noon because we were running around all day. So my one video was supposed to be out at noon. It was not out at noon. And then the other video was supposed to be um, out tonight at six. Well, I wanted one out at noon I actually wanted one done and out at six in the morning and then six in the evening, but I couldn't do that because I fell asleep last night. So I didn't even get the vlog edited and I didn't even get a chance to edit any of the videos because I was going to do the shortest one, which is like the peeps, the plaid, the Easter plaid peeps. So that was like one of the videos I named and I'm like, okay, but it didn't work out that way. So I didn't get a chance to edit anything last night, let alone edit my vlog. So I had to hurry up and edit my vlog this morning because we had to run. And then, um, like I said, I didn't get a chance to really get much done. And I also have to go down in the basement and I have to get, um, so we have to leave tomorrow at 1130. I'm going to take a shower in the morning because I didn't have time to shower today. And then I'm guessing they all went to bed because I haven't heard hide nor hair from them tonight. So... There's that. All right, I got the cat bowls picked up. And then, oh, I gotta go through here. So we went to, I got stuff for Brayden for Easter in here. I got him, okay, hold on. Hold on, okay, so we got Brayden this little, like glob ball he loves like the sensory type stuff i got him this like mega blocks hot wheels lego set and he loves these like magnetic type things and we just got him a whoopee cushion because we thought it would be funny i am gonna buy a fun machine i'm gonna buy one i swear and then hubby went out to um the fuck is that place called um, Harbor Freight and got him two ammo boxes because that's what he wanted and that's what he asked for. So hubby went out there and got him two of those. I don't know. So, um, 
So there's that. And oh, and we got him a $100 gift card for Xbox. And then I got these bulletin board borders. Look how pretty they are. They're rainbow, like shiny rainbow. Cause for May, I'm gonna do be a rainbow in somebody else's cloud. So I did it before, but I'm gonna do it again. So I do have, I have those. So yeah, and I already have rainbow letters and stuff. So I'm not worried about that. Um, and then I'm gonna make like little cloud letters like I did last year with cotton balls. Oh god damn. Alright y'all. I need to go take this makeup. I forgot I even have makeup on. I literally only have on eyeliner and a little bit of um the 24k. Brayden, is that window open again? Is that why it's so fucking cold in the house? I don't know. I I haven't See if it popped open. Cause this window is not because if that heat runs Okay, because if we run out of oil, cold as hell down here, and that window's been popping open. So, all right. I'm going to take this little bit of piddly ass makeup off. I don't know how it, oh, should I do Pete makeup for tomorrow? I should do like some sort of fun Easter. What's tomorrow's color? Orange? Tomorrow's color is orange. So, I don't know. But yeah. I need to go downstairs. I need to switch laundry over. I need to bring up my laundry basket. But I guess they're all sleeping. I love you guys all oh so oh so oh so very much please remember to like comment share and subscribe and as always please be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through so don't be a dick I love you all and I will see you guys tomorrow and I have a special prize tomorrow prize surprise tomorrow for where we're going and I'm so excited it's stupid it's so stupid but I'm so excited I can't wait it'll be my first time I can't wait. All right. I love you guys. Bye. Bye.